So why are we here today protesting? We are here to protest the violation of human rights uh, in Swaziland. Uh, as you might know, that political party has been banned for the past 37 years. Uh, workers' unions are not respected. There is no treatment in the public hospitals. The economy has collapsed. Uh, the government has been applying for loans from the IMF, the World Bank, the African Development Bank, and even private banks in South Africa. And they have not been granted because they do not have the capacity to pay because of bad governance. So we are here to call on the Swazi government to democratize and to allow freedom of association and political activity in Swaziland. What happened yesterday in Yes, Swaziland? Yesterday there was another very successful march under very heavy rain in Swaziland, but the workers came out in their thousands to call for democracy. They came out in their thousands to protest the use of workers' taxes for the financing of the lavish lifestyle of the royal family when the workers and the ordinary people of Swaziland are suffering. The press come that the biggest threat in Swaziland is to public sector workers. Yes. There is a bill that denies workers of Swaziland who are working in the public sector their right to organize, their right to associate with other workers merely on the basis of their being workers in the public sector. And we demand every worker must have a right to have a say in his or her country's affairs. Because every worker, because every worker pays tax. Every worker has the right to have a say where the tax must be spent and how it must be spent. Because that is politics. Politics is about how you should spend the money we work for, how we should spend the tax that we use. So why should you deny other workers who also pay tax the right to have a say in their country? That's the first one. The second one is that about 10,000 workers in Swaziland are being returned. By the way, 10,000 in South Africa could be a very small amount. But in Swaziland, with a population of about 1 million, 10,000 means 50,000 people who are reliant on the 10,000. Uh, families and so on and so forth will no longer be able to have a means to eat. In a country that has the highest HIV AIDS uh, pandemic uh, crisis in the, in the world, in a country that has a high crisis of unemployment, and in a country where job uh, crises are also facing the people. So we want to say the magnitude of the problem in the public sector means there will be poor service delivery, further, more weak service delivery, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Dante, 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 Dante,